talk about it. Let's talk about it. Cerebral palsy. I know firsthand what you might go through or what you will go through when you're dealing with cerebral palsy. And while we're talking about my dealings with cerebral palsy, we're going to eat this good steak, mashed potatoes, with a potato. I had this last night. I didn't finish it. But this from Texas Roll House. Good food, good conversation. My 12-year-old son deals with cerebral palsy. If you have a child that has cerebral palsy, some days can be good, some days can be, you know, pretty bad. But you got to deal with it, right? God is good all the time. Some days be better than the other. Some days can be pretty bad when you're watching your child deal with a condition that he has no control of or she has no control of. And I thank God because my child who's 12 years old, my son, he doesn't have like the really bad case of cerebral palsy. Like some kids have cerebral palsy so bad so they can't walk. Might not even be able to talk. That's good. But like I say, thank God that my son he's able to talk, walk. If you met my son, if I didn't tell you that he has cerebral palsy, you would never even know it. My son's 12 years old. He has a cousin who's, I want to say 15. He has cerebral palsy as well. But the sad part is that with his cerebral palsy, he can't walk. You know, he has to use a walker and things of that nature. Very intelligent, you know. Very smart young man, very strong young man, a very good young man. So it's different levels of cerebral palsy. My son, like I said, you would have never even know until he acts out. It's almost as if sometimes if my son don't get his way, he, you wouldn't think he was like from him being almost being a teenager like he would cry sometimes to where you would ask him like dude like why are, you, why are you crying like that you're not a baby it's almost like a behavior issue like some days better than the other like some days he'd be fine but just some days he'd get in this mood to where it's like he wants what he wants and if he doesn't get it, he'll just act out by like, what do they call it, panting? Or like, just acting like a baby, you know, just crying, yelling, and screaming. For no reason, just because it's like, he's almost like he's trying to get attention. 
But it's not his fault. I can tell it's like he has no control. When it, when it happens, it's like he has no control over it. So that's why I say it's different levels to the cerebral palsy. All you can do, you just got to be patient with your child. That's all you can do. Keep giving them love. Because at the end of the day, it's not their fault. Like I say, with my son, hell, you wouldn't even know he has cerebral palsy until he starts acting out. That's where you could tell, like, oh, okay. It's not him. It's that it's something deeper. You know, it's just something that a kid has to fight, a child has to deal with, and they had no control over it. Not to admit, because I'm a parent with a child who has cerebral palsy. It can get stressful to the parent. Like I was in a bad mood, so bad this morning. Because like you gotta live life, you gotta take care of business, and you also gotta worry about your son's feelings. Because you want your son to be okay. And you know that he's dealing with something that he has no control over. It almost makes you want to question God sometimes. But people, this is why I'm making this video. Don't question God. It's just certain things in life you have to deal with. And cerebral apology, like I say, it's not that bad. You can get over it. You can get through it. You know? You just got to have faith. Stay strong. And everything will work itself out. So like I say, I just... Yeah, I wish my son wouldn't have his temper tantrums sometimes. But I know that he's going through something that he's dealing with that he has no control over. And hopefully one day he will grow out of it. But like I say, some kids with cerebral palsy have it so bad to where they can't walk, they can't talk. So imagine how their parents feel. Imagine the questions that they would want to ask God, sometimes asking why, but don't question God. I mean, your kids is a blessing. That's your blessing. That's what keep me strong. That's what keep me going. Like when I'm in a bad mood, I think about, you know what? My son healthy, strong, can walk and talk. We're going to get through this. So just like how I'm going to get through this food, this delicious steak from Texas Row House, you know, just... Just stay strong. Keep your faith, you know? That's all you can do. You see me TV? Hit that like button, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to get through this together. We can do it. Mmm. Don't just stay. God's good all the time. I gotta finish my food. I'll be back later. We'll talk later. Peace.